The transfers are done, we're on the up, we're back in Spain, Villarreal, we need European football. Let's see how we've been getting on. All right, guys, welcome back. And you guys were last here for that 1-1 draw against Real Sociedad with that unbelievable equaliser in 90 plus 10. Few injuries in the, uh, the time added on helped us out and we scored pretty much last kick of the game to get that one point to get us a step closer to European football. How this game's still going, I don't know. Arie finds Alcacet. Yes! And that, I think, was our turning point. There's been some transfers since then. Uh, one major out, uh, which actually funded two purchases for us. One of them has been an unlikely amazing player, but we'll, we'll get on to that. Um, since that one with Real Sociedad, it's just been amazing. Played really, 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 really well. Followed that up, a comfortable 3-1 win against uh, Espanyol. That game, we went 1-0 down after eight minutes. And I thought, here we flipping go. We've conceded an early goal again. 1-1 one, one draw at best. And then uh, equalised halfway through the first half. Every, a load of people getting on the score sheet. Couldn't quite make that back-to-back -back wins. It was a 1-0 loss um, at Sevilla. And that was it was a tough, tough game to take. It was a penalty. Uh, we didn't necessarily play too badly, but it was just it was just one of those games. And and to be honest, they're first in the league. They're running away with it. You can see why I was expecting it to be tough. But we came bouncing back 5-3 against Real Oviedo. Now, look, Real Oviedo aren't great. And we went 2-0 uh, down in the, inside the first 20-odd minutes. And then I'm just, I'm just looking down here now. So we scored... Um, on the 42nd, 45th, and then 45th plus three um, to go into the break 3-2 up. Absolutely incredible. Perejo Moreno and um, Torres all getting on the score sheet. I thought that was it. You know, 3-2. They We then made it 4-2. Sorry, Moreno getting on the score sheet again. 81st minute. They uh, pegged us back again, uh, Samuel Obeng uh, scoring an 89, and then Eric Lamella popping up with a great goal, 90 plus 2, 5-3. Absolutely fantastic victory. Next one up was a sort of ground out 1-0 win against Catafe, which is fine. And the last game out was a 3-1 win, comfortable. I have to say they they didn't even deserve to to have that goal. It was just it was just one of them. I think they sit bottom of the league. So We've only actually lost one of our last five. And there's some solid performances in there. And a narrow 1-0 loss against Sevilla I'm, I'm pleased with. Now, you heard me talk about transfers. So let's first talk about the big out. It's only the man who has been solid for us so far, uh, Pedraza. We sold him, if you see here, for 17.5 million. He'd made 19 appearances for his this season, scored one goal, two player of the match performances, averaged a 6.84, which wasn't ideal. And that then left us with not a left back in the team. So that 17.75 funded two purchases, one to make up at left back, one that's that's got a bit of development, a bit of a young lad. So the first guy we'll talk about is Juan Miranda, who I got from uh, Betis. Now, stats and everything... Yeah, you know, he, he's he, he, he's not that exciting. He's, you know, mediocre is, is probably what we would have said. But I tell you now, this lad, I wasn't sure whether he was even going to start. It, it was the other lad that we'll look at in a second who I was really going for, for the starting left back. But he has been excellent. I think he's had one bad game, but... Or not, not as good as. So, five appearances so far. He's got two assists from left back. He's had one player of the match and he's averaging a 7.22. Um, I mean, looking at his stats, on paper, he shouldn't be doing that. He, he, he doesn't necessarily excel anywhere, but he's also not that bad. I mean, okay, free kicks and, you know, long shots and, and whatever, and he's, he's not a leader. But other than that, Actually, he's very well-rounded. He's not necessarily incredible at anything, but he's good at, you know, most things. His stats are all right. And 
while he's playing well for us, he's only 23. We're going to let it going to let it keep on rolling. And as long as he plays like that, he's going to start. Um, the other guy we got, uh, Noah Katterback, 11.75 million we play, paid for him. This was very much, for me, a guy who looks like, on paper, he's going to be a very, very good player. And you'll see here, looking at, at this, wherever he was, I mean, he was um, in Germany. He, he's played in every position. Every position other than striker and in goal he's played there and and i find that i find that quite interesting and i thought well fair play but i've brought him in for that natural sort of left back wing back left back position with masses of potential to 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 develop and and you'll see uh, you will have seen there if he reaches his potential he will be the star player for the team five stars he he could be excellent he's only 21 he is. He did start that first game we got him in, but he got injured, and I don't think he's played since then. I think he's only played the one. Yeah, so he's only played the one game, and he was averaging a 6.5, so not great, but whatever. So, yes, we lost what I suppose we would describe as a big player um, in, in Al Alfonso Pedraza, who went to Spurs for 17 and a half, but we managed to buy two players that, I mean... Miranda's still got some, you know, potential to develop. He, he could still be very good. And at the moment, he's performing very well. Um, he's, he's level in terms of ability on that left-hand side with, with Aria. So, as far as I'm concerned, you know, it is what it is. So, our next opponents today are Athletic uh, athletic Club or Bilbao, as we would mainly know them. We sit in seventh place. We're level on points with Valencia. That is a game that's coming up. My understanding is from going through the rules that this seventh place spot at the moment is a Europa Conference spot, which is a good good enough for us to, you know, um, satisfy the board in terms of what they wanted. But I really want to push on. Bilbao sit down here in 11th. They're, they're, they've not been doing too bad, you know, um, and, and the teams who have been playing more recently are down this, this bottom end of, end of the, the table. But we've got some big, big games coming up. So if you didn't um, see them before, coming up, we have, uh, I believe, Valencia. So Valencia, Barcelona, Real Madrid. If we can get something out of those three, as well as this game, then I'm confident enough that we should be within those European spots. And we're coming towards that back end of the season. There's not that many games to go. Um, enough for there to be a difference. But, I mean, there's three, six, nine, twelve 12 games to go. So, 12 to go. We've still got the big boys to play. We've still got to pay, play Madrid. We've still got to play Barcelona. We've still got to play Valencia, who are level on points with us. As far as I'm concerned... This is now as for the taking. The team's coming together. They're getting to know each other. Um, there was a whole issue before with, with them having no support for me as the manager. I think that's probably down to the fact that in this save, I've, I'm not very experienced. I've come from a second division Spanish side and I was sacked. And then I've been brought in at Villarreal, who should be knocking on the door of Europe. But whatever it is, I just want to head into that game. Let's just get straight into it. Let's look at the start in the lineup. Let's crack on because I I just I'm really pleased this is coming together because at one point I was worrying I thought I'm going to get sacked again. Let's just head over there. Right, here's the lineup for this one. I'm not going to talk too long because there's, there's no point in me running through each of these guys. You you know them by now. The big change is really Miranda comes in at that left back position. It'll be the first time you've you've obviously seen him on an episode. Pino comes in on the left, Chukwesi on the right, who's been playing incredibly well. Lamella in the middle, sitting behind Moreno. Alcacer has been playing well, uh, but he drops to the bench for this one. He's he's just coming back from a from an injury. Catterback also on the, the bench, who's, who's coming back from an inju injury as well. Um, in terms of goalkeepers, Asenio is now starting a bit more for us. Really sort of lost some form, so, you know, so be it. Couple of tweaks to that last one. Formation, hands down, is is, is pretty much identical to the last game um, that you guys saw. Differences being, pa uh, passing directness has been bumped up slightly. Tempo has been switched up to higher. Initially, I leave it as work the ball into the box, but um, if I do think we're struggling in terms of generating shots, then I, I just revert back to uh, shoot on sight and uh, hit early crosses. Uh, sometimes just shoot on sight, just to, you know, 
give us that extra edge to, to try and help us push forward. Other than that, let's just go straight into it. Here we are. Kick-off is nearly upon us. Uh, we are in slightly better form than Bilbao. Um, we've won four of our last five. They've won two, but they have not lost. So, probably pretty even. Like I say, we sit in seventh. They sit in 11th. We're pretty evenly matched, um, and I, we need to, to carry on getting three points um, so that when we do uh, play Valencia next we can um, really put it down to that as to whether we're going to, you know, concrete that that European uh, football spot for next season. So it's then with a kickoff here. A couple of passes. Doesn't seem to be generating too much. Nice little tackle as well there from uh, Parejo, I believe. At least we've got a highlight early doors for this one. I don't know if you saw the last Derby episode. I think we made it to about 35 minutes before... Um Good, good hands um, before we got a highlight, uh, which does remind me, while I come on to it, please, 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 guys, like, comment, subscribe, make sure you're keeping up to date, because things are really heating up in this save, really heating up in the Derby save, and then we've got that massive Builder Nation save with Gibraltar, in Gibraltar, with Rob, uh, and the Not The Network save, that's also going full steam ahead, so make sure you guys are involved, I'd, I'd love to, you know, get your guys' feedback and, and thoughts on that. Um, they seem to be doing well going forward here. Oh, they've hit the bar. Oof. It's not a great start from us, I have to admit. Not a great start. Thrown for us, Miranda. Parejo. Back to Miranda. Nice little short passes here. Torres. Foyth. Torres goes all the way back to the keeper. We keep the ball. They can't do anything with it. Parejo goes forward to... Oh, Moreno. Go on. Back to Miranda. Tries to beat his man. Intelligent ball. Back to Miranda. Ball in. Lamella. Arie. Get a shot off. Parejo. Go on. Corner. Corner. Gotta be. Gotta be. Again, that's why I don't always leave the work the ball into the box on. Because that instead of trying to generate the shot, they just seem to pass it around the box. Um, it is on for now, but there's potential that I'll, I'll change that approach at half-time. Oh, good free kick. Good save from the keeper. Corner. Good ball in. Oh, couldn't do much with it. We've come alive. We've, we've seemed to have found our feet in the game. As I say, I think just... In terms of this, I am going to change this to early crosses and shoot on sight. Other than that, no changes. There's no one really that's disappointing me. Aria is not having a great game at um, right back, but we'll give him another, we'll give him the rest of the uh, or some of the second half at least for us to to see how he gets on. Moreno kicks off for us. Patience, I like it. Miranda takes the safe option. He's just really impressed, you know, coming in at left back. I thought, this is where we're going to be weak. And he's been really, really good. Really, really good. Really, really impressed me. Thrown for us. Arie, Lamella. Chips it over to Moreno. Oh, go on, hit it. Oh, you've missed an open goal. Oh, oh. Free kick for them. Oh, Parejo, nice little interception there. They've got a high line and all. Arie. Lamella goes out wide to Arie again. Get the ball in. Oh, oh. I tell you what, much better football. Much, much better. Even Arie is playing better on the right. Come on, deal with it. Deal with it. Don't give him any options. Oh, <laughs> straight at the keeper. I think we were lucky there. I think we were very, very lucky there. Alcacer may be uh, on for Moreno. He's not playing that great. Come on, change my mind. Make me keep you on the pitch. That's not how you do it, mate. That's not how you do it. Give it another five minutes and then we'll see if we're going to do anything for the last 15. I think we might have to. Oh... Right, let's make some changes.
Right, Moreno and uh, Lamella are off. Hadji and Alcacer have been have uh, come on for the last ten. I'm just going to bump it up, um, encourage, and pick that pace up. Go slightly more direct. I really don't want it to be a nil-nil. Not after the last five games. Come on. No, you've got to be getting to that first. Deal with... Oh! <laughs> oh! That was close. Come on. Come on. Aria. This is probably the last chance of the game. Hadji. Kakalan. You wanker. That's going to be... Oh, sh it's a highlight for them. Oh, go on. Alcacer. Go on. Oh. Well, what a terribly disappointing game. For the, for the channel, at least. I think that probably bumps us up. Uh, but... Valencia do still need to play. So let's um, just go forward very quickly. Let's see how they uh, how they got on. Valencia um, won and so did uh, Celta Vigo. So we now drop back below both of them. But it's crunch time in the next game. We take on Valencia, Barcelona and Real Madrid. All huge games. These these two teams here, Barcelona, are just above us in the table. I believe they're in sixth. Um, I don't know why I click scout in there. Um, okay, Barcelona have moved up to fourth. So, you know, there's some big, 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 big games. Big, big games coming up. So, let's just push on. Make sure you're here for the next one. Things are getting interesting. And we need a European spot. Otherwise, we might not have a job in the summer. I'll see you then.